My name's Judith Enright. I'm Deputy Head Teacher in charge of learning and teaching, without a defined statement as to what that is just yet, um, at Greenford High School in West London. And I've come to talk to you today about inspiring teachers. Why, why do we need to inspire teachers? We're in an interesting situation at the moment in the UK, and um, we heard from the SSAT earlier about this. 337 1,870 teachers have left the profession since 2003-04. If you just read the newspapers or listen to the radio, as we all do, you find out that we're trots, we're the enemies of promise, we're accused of blighting children's futures, and we have this, the soft bigotry of low expectations. I can see that all around me in this room at the moment, it's shocking stuff. <laughs> it feels a bit like there's sort of somebody out to get us, you know, we're, we're, we're running away um, from the big bad wolf. We've got this tendency as teachers to undermark children from ethnic minorities. We've been told that students won't get higher grades in their exams, even if we teach them better, though interestingly yesterday that seemed to be, Gove seemed to contradict himself on that, but also we don't have a professional body anymore and we don't need a professional qualification. Teaching is a craft. Anyone can just get up and teach, it's not a problem. And off the back of that, we now don't have a particular pay scale and head teachers are now going to be sort of given some sort of horrendous responsibility to decide how much each teacher in their school should be paid on the basis of how well they're teaching. But day to day, when we get up every morning, we're not trading in exam results, we're trading in hope, and we need to feel inspired. When we stand in front of a class of students, we need to feel inspired and our students need to be inspired by us. So we thought about this, and this year at my school, we've got this program called Inspiring Teachers. And who are the inspiring teachers? Well, it's not just someone who has QTS. It's all of us who work with the young people in schools, the teaching assistants, the pastoral workers, anybody working in our school. And at the end of a busy day of teaching, we have two hour inset sessions on Tuesdays. I sat everybody down in the hall, and rather than just kind of preach at them about the latest initiative or invention or description of outstanding, I showed them this. My Greenford High School teachers inspired me to um, be the best that I can in everything that I do. Um, this was due to a very inspiring lesson in thinking skills and um, I really enjoyed it. My Greenford High School teacher inspired me by pushing me to the highest limits that I could achieve in life. I really love physics and just the fact that it, that, uh, that it has such beauty and it encompasses all of nature. And I was inspired when my maths teacher from last year told me about his degree and what he did at uni. And we, we had a few more, but you get the idea. I've only got nine minutes. Um, and interestingly, this evolved, this idea for professional development in our school. It came partly, thanks very much to Ross, um, the night before, two nights before school started, he had a hashtag on Twitter, bad CPD. And not only was I seeing random people around the country tweeting about terrible things that were about to be inflicted on them by us on the first few days of term as part of CPD, I saw teachers from my own school <laughs> tweeting about this. Well, there's nothing to make you paranoid like that. So I already had this slot, an hour per half term of one of these Tuesday two hours. Most of that time is spent within departments. Our middle leaders lead on training and development in our school. They lead on the quality of teaching, obviously, as we discussed earlier tonight. But I had this hour per half term. I'd called it Inspiring Teachers. I did not have a scooby-doo what I was going to do with that time. Luckily, we have a little group in our school. At the moment, it's called the Outstanding Teachers Group. It's a horrible name, um, but we can't really think of anything better. But these are the people who are very exciting in their classrooms. Two of them are here tonight, actually. They're brilliant within their own classrooms. They also are leaders within the school, and they share ideas. And so I asked them. I asked them how we should do this. We've got this time, what are we going to do? The video was an idea from the head of media. So we started with this nice video. We just asked students, you know, how does your teacher inspire you? And then we sort of broke it down. We've got about 150 teachers in the school, so 12 groups of 12 teachers. We decided that we wanted people to own it themselves. We wanted it to be something they were excited about. So they got to choose from 12 different topics, one that excited them most. And we had this sort of runaround idea um, at the beginning, where literally I, we had no idea who was going to end up in which group. They chose a group uh, from the options that were available. And hopefully coming round to your tables, as it come round to your tables, you will see a little action research sheet. Sorry, I, I thought I was going to be sat at a little table this evening, so I had enough for some people around a little table. Here I am, hello. Um, 
So we got them then within their groups, led by one particular teacher whose idea one of these things had been. So the ideas we've got there, experiential learning, feedback, reading, writing, lots of different things, some of which people are passionate about, some of which people have a paid teaching learning responsibility for, and they are there in part of the group. And people had to think about it, discuss it, get excited about it with a group of teachers from all across the school, and then they have to go away, and by January, our next one, they have to try something different and then blog about it. To be able to set this up in your own schools, you really need to know your teachers. You need to know what's happening in all of those classrooms. You need to know, as I happen to, that there's a fantastic RE teacher up on the second floor of D Block. Nobody ever goes past her room normally, but inside her room, it is like you step into a different world every time you go into her class. And she is the one, she's also doing an MA um, on this, she is the one who is running this group called Experiential Learning. And what was so exciting about this was those teachers who normally you think, I can't teach them anything. I can't train them. They're absolutely brilliant. It was one of those teachers who came back to me. And you're looking at her, her plan that she wrote um, on that day as part of that session. She had no idea as well that this really exciting stuff was going on. She's a brilliant head of chemistry. The results are amazing. The students make great progress. They do really well in exams. There's nothing I can tell her about how to be an outstanding teacher. But she has gone away and got very excited about it. So I just want to leave you with that thought. How are you going to inspire your teachers and how can you get them involved in doing that? Thank you very much.